Hey there fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today's video we will be featuring <clears throat> Ariana and Evan's Little Fictions along with the matching splash for that. We will be using the Blackland Era again on the three plate this time. Uh, so when I ordered the razor, I um, ordered the two and the three. And also in this shave, I put the um, rubber gaskets in here. Um, I didn't notice any problem with grip yesterday in my shave with um, the rubber um, gaskets missing, um, but these go right into the six grooves. Um, they're a little, it's not a big deal, but they're a little tedious to put on and take off. So you probably either are gonna put them on or you're not gonna put them on, but you're probably not gonna be taking them on and off a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, this is what it looks like with the rubber gaskets in the grooves there. Um, and you probably maybe not able to see it on here, but this does have the level, oops, almost dropped it and then almost cut myself, um, level three plate in there. So when I ordered it, I was concerned about aggressiveness because if you watch my channel, you know that I like razors that are a little less aggressive, a little less blade feel for my personal taste. Uh, so I got the two and the three. In hindsight, I feel like the two yesterday was, um, while well, it was very comfortable, and if you're a newer shaver or you really don't like blade feel and you're not searching for BBS and you just want a quick shave, uh, cruise control type shave, two probably would suit your needs. If you're somebody that wants a little bit more efficiency, you're probably gonna need to go up in plates. Hindsight 2020, I probably knowing what I know now would have at least pre-ordered the three and the four, um, but I don't know. So I only have the two and the three. Um, I noticed that the four and the five are currently sold out on the Blackland site. I don't know what the ETA for them to come up with more plates. There are also open comb plates, which you're probably gonna get a little bit more blade feel out of an open comb plate but I can't really speak to whether or not that makes it more efficient or not. So, um, and uh, so then we got the razor. We're gonna use our alpha shaving um, brush, synthetic brush here, and we are all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Bowl. Speaking of the Lancaster Razor Bowl, uh, heart, my heart, thoughts, and prayers go out to the citizens of Ukraine. Uh, I know it's a terrible, really tragic um, disaster going on over there right now. And I cannot even imagine what life would be like to either be there or have family, Andre, who makes the Lancaster Razor Works um, stuff, the towels, everything else, uh, that's his home country. So I know he and his family must be very concerned about his family members back there. So anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, thoughts and prayers going out, hopefully for us, uh, a peaceful resolution uh, very quickly. Uh, although it doesn't, it doesn't look good uh, for what's going on over there. So I've been trying to keep tabs um, a little bit, but anyways, um, so let's get on with the shave. Um, let's wet the face and get started today. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here for a while, uh, thanks for the continued support. If you're watching this video for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you like anything or found anything helpful in my video today, please hit that thumbs up button. All that helps the YouTube algorithms and helps the channel grow. So that'd be much appreciated. All right, so that'll do it for the public service announcement for today and on with the shave. So uh, we are working on one day growth. I shaved about the same time yesterday. So it's pretty much 24 hours of growth. Um, like I said, the two plate on the Blackland era was super inefficient for me. Um, and like I said, if you know my desire or my um, preferences for a lower blade feel, smoother razor, less aggressive razor, uh, for me to say the two plate was um, too mild <laughs> is saying something. Uh, so we'll see how much better the three plate is uh, on this. And again, not much blade feel, very comfortable. Um, it is cutting. I mean, I did cut through three days of growth very well. So, I mean, it did shave. 
but I noticed, I'm noticing some soap left behind. I'm wondering if I'm not hydrated enough in my lather here, um, but we'll talk about the soap in a moment. So I did get a shave out of it. but it was not super efficient. It's been a while since I shaved with like my Mercure, but I'd probably say it's even maybe uh, about or even less efficient on the two plate than that. I was kind of expecting something a little bit more aggressive in the base plate options. Since there were only five, I was thinking you know, three is the middle, so two, you know, kind of would go with my preferences. Two and three, because on the carve, on the B plate, sometimes C plate, and on the Rockwell 6S, I'm a three plate almost all the time. But again, very comfortable razor, um, nice weight, feels good in the hand. Um, I'm not noticing any um, better of a grip with the um, with the rubber gaskets. So, um, you know, like, uh, I think the kids are still missing my spritzer. So we'll wet the face here. I might throw a little bit more uh, water real quick in, this, um, in my bowl. Just felt like I might have had a little too much soap left behind there. Um, so anyways, this, uh, as far as little fictions go, this is from Ariana and Evans. You can only get this, I think, at this point if you're a club member. Um, this is a scent that's done in conjunction with Grey Matter fragrances. Um, and so it is not an original A&E scent. It is a very, very nice scent, in my opinion. Very complex. Uh, the scent notes uh, are said to be musky and sweet, um, refreshing and, oh boy, should put my glasses on, uh, bold and strong. Yeah, I think that lather might be a little bit better. This is in a K2E formula. Let me throw my reading glasses on here. Let's see. Uh, refreshing. Oh, and manly. There we go. So, um, musky, sweet, refreshing, manly, bold, and strong. Um, the scent description, the scent notes. I'm going to move this over a little bit. It's behind the phone there. I got my uh, scent notes taped to the, to the mirror here. So, scent notes are coconut, cedar, bitter orange, uh, bergamot. And I'm going to throw the glasses on again. Man, I'm getting old. This stinks. Uh, bergamot, lavender, clary sage, juniper berries, white rum, white tea, lemon amaris, musk, honeydew, and ocean mist. Not sure what ocean mist is. Uh, so it does have some, some citrus notes in there with the bitter orange and um, some sweet notes with like the honeydew. But I don't get an overly citrusy fragrance. Um... It's, I think, very well blended in terms of fragrance. Yeah, that little extra water addition helped quite a bit on the slickness here. So still, um, let's see. So anyways, um, it is definitely a, a much bolder scent. So I would say scent, scent strength on this is probably getting up there six to seven-ish, six, six and a half, maybe pushing a seven. Um, so it definitely has some scent strength. I did notice on, I did want to comment if you saw my video on the shave cream yesterday and the splash, the scent on the shave cream is definitely on the lower side for A&E. It was probably a, um, it's probably a four 
The splash might have gotten up to a four and a half, maybe a five. But one thing I noticed on the splash was that the scent longevity, I don't even know if that's a word, but the length that the scent lasted on my skin was shorter than usual for a &E. I would say a couple hours and the scent was kind of really had dissipated quite a bit. And I know it's an aftershave splash. It's not a fragrance or an EDT or an EDP, but a lot of times I've noticed on a &E's splashes that I'll get a few hours um, out of them in terms of scent or some other artisans um, have aftershaves that last a really long time with scent like PAA or First Line. So um, it dissipated faster than I was expecting is my point on the Pedro Fiasco one. So I'm hoping this um, will stick around a little bit longer. Um, let me wet my face again, going in the third pass here. Um, I'm definitely noticing there's still some um, some stubble to be to be taken down there. Um, particularly, I have thicker growth here in this area, so um, that's where I found it to be the least efficient on the two plate. And when I'm working with a really efficient razor, I typically can get it pretty smooth in those areas. But this is a very nice scent. Again, well blended. Um, I don't get overly anything in particular. It's not overly musky to me. I would say it's kind of a brighter scent. It's not a dark scent. Um, I don't really get a lot of coconut. I get maybe more of, and it, I don't get much of the lavender. Um, so it's bright, but it's not super bright. It's fresh, but it's not overly fresh. I don't know if that makes sense. It's definitely not dark and musky. Um, so I, I just think that's all real balanced out. The white tea and the lemon, it's not too, not too citrusy. So all in all, um, just very, very well done, I think. So I can still hear a lot of cutting in the against the grain path. So we'll see how efficient this is. I'm not, you know, I'm not ready to throw in the towel on the era razor, that's for sure. Aesthetically, I like it. You do get a tiny bit, and it's slight, of a blade overhang here, and it is really, really slight. So if that's something that bothers you, um, just be aware of that. But it's not near as much um, blade um, exposure, or not blade exposure, but tab exposure on the sides as like, say, the um, the car of Christopher Bradley in the in the shorter cap because they do make a, a longer cap that will cover the tabs if that's what you want. So I guess the good news, and I think Ken Shade 326 mentioned this, you know, I mean, um, there's a one through five, so I'm sure if there's enough feedback uh, to Blackland, that they could always add numbers to it to get a six, seven, or eight plate. I think to me, this razor, and I think I, meant, I mentioned a price point yesterday of 85, it's actually 75, so I was wrong on that. Um, it's 75, which includes one plate, and each additional plate I think is $35. Um, but, you know, Blackland has been kind of a premium purchase to this point. Most of their razors are 200 plus. If you get it, and if you get into titanium, you're at, you know, 400 um, with the razors that they've released so far that I've seen, uh, specifically the Blackbird and the Vector. Now the finish on them is a little bit better than the finish on this. But let me feel around the face here a little bit. Yeah, still um, some left to be desired on efficiency. I could go up back and buff all that, but um, I, just, I got stuff here and here. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that on camera here. So uh, I'm gonna rinse the face.
But to me, I think, I don't know if because of the price point of all the other Blackland razors and this being $75, I don't know if, you know, kind of the strategy behind that was to get more um, introductory shavers in, into the ecosystem of, or the platform or the Blackland brand. I shouldn't say ecosystem necessarily, but um, the Blackland brand, because it's definitely a much more attractive price point. And I guess with the lower levels of aggression and the lower levels of blade feel, uh, it might be more attractive to newer shavers or shavers who are converting from cart to um, um, traditional wet shaving or traditional shaving. So I don't know, it, to me, it seems like it's, I guess maybe at least the two and three plate might be geared more towards a newer shaver or just, a, you know, maybe more large mass appeal, I guess. I think maybe some of the more desires for more blade feel, more aggression might be more specific to the community, um, which, you know, is um, maybe not the masses. So, um, so anyways, um, that's just some speculation and thought on that. Um, I will watch the black on site, try to pick up a, at least a four plate, maybe even a five um, and see. So we're all shaking up here, a uh, little fiction splash. It's got kind of a green, oh, I think I can show that on camera. Okay, there you go, oh. down the arm. Um, a green look to it, still got enough on here. So nice scent, I, you know, I'm gonna say, I, I don't know, it's, it's a true like love, love scent, um, but it's definitely a like scent for me. Uh, I think this would appeal to a lot of people. It's fresh and clean, it is manly. Um, and so I think a lot of people would like this scent. All right, so that'll do it for today's shave. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna come back with the era. Maybe wait till there's a four and a five plate available or at least a four plate that I can get to try. Uh, but assessment so far as a two and three plate leave a little bit to be desired on um, efficiency. Uh, I think maybe the three was slightly more efficient than the two. Um, and the two might be slightly more comfortable than the three, but overall, both not quite efficient enough for me. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you soon on the channel.